before I began to understand that I could really live from my intuition, from my heart, I was really outer driven. I was really um, used to going for grades and success and promotions and achievements and things like that and, and living up to parental and societal expectations and things like that. And I feel that one of the issues with old paradigm living is, is people trying to create sameness, that people are in their own little groups, whether it's a religious group, a political group, or a national group, whatever. Um, and they're saying in a very dualistic, polarity-driven way, this is the way and no other way is right. And I just don't believe that. And I feel it to my core that um, we're here to be, you know, our own, to follow our own path, our own essence and our own soul. And, and we need all those differences. We need all those voices um, in order to create the really highest expression of all the beautiful world that we envision as the new paradigm. It's really the fear versus love thing, because I think when you're completely living in love, loving yourself and fully self-accepting and trusting the process of life and that life is, is there for you, things are happening for you, um, then you're not in fear. And when you're in fear, then that's when the resistance, com resistance comes up. And I think the mental machinations come up. Um, so um, it, it feels constricting. It, you know, when you're in fear and you're not really able to open and listen, then you're not trusting and, and it just feels like everything's shut down. I, I feel really clear and really um, strongly that diversity is so important. It's, it just seems, it seems such a shame when I see, you know, religions and some religious groups and some political groups, etc., trying to create sameness and trying to say, if you're not exactly like us, then, you know, you don't have something worth sharing. And I believe there is wisdom in, in every path if it's followed with the highest intention. And that's actually probably the most important thing I think that I've learned is, is to love myself, to accept myself and to, um, to really be in a space of kindness. Like I think many light workers, um, are used to thinking of everyone else first and, and, and also not just, with compassion, but also thinking of everyone else's needs, thinking of everyone else's, you know, expectations, things like that. And, and then we're not necessarily being kind to ourselves and, and we're being mean. And that's, that's the thing that will keep you from doing anything. It's very constricting. And, and if you look at everything in oneness and it's all me kind of an attitude um, a perspective of it's all me then you really you're doing a disservice to everyone you're doing a disservice to the oneness of all if you're discounting yourself and and that self it's like it's like a wave in the ocean every single wave is a part of the movement of the ocean and it's important and each wave is different and so we're all different. We all bring some important piece and maybe you haven't discovered what that is yet, but, but if you just keep having faith in life and faith in yourself and moving toward love with each step, moving step by step in the direction of love instead of fear, I think that you can't really go wrong.